In Malaysia, there is a place that draws visitors from far and wide. There are no skyscrapers, no luxurious shopping malls, and no fancy restaurants. There is only a blanket of green. This is the jungles of Balum Temungul, one of the oldest rainforests in the world. Within the forest, an amazing array of flora and fauna thrives. The diversity of life in these forests is among the highest in the world. But the forest here is also attracting visitors that are not welcomed by the inhabitants of the jungle. They enter stealthily, rapidly melting into their surroundings. These visitors are poachers. They are prepared to stay for weeks with only one goal, to plunder Malaysia's natural treasures for money. Poachers set up deadly snares throughout the jungle. Steel cables are rigged to a tree and will detonate when tripped by an unsuspecting animal. Malaysian wildlife is in high demand because of its high commercial value in Asia, thought to generate more than 30 million ringgit each year. Tigers and sun bears will fetch thousands of ringgit for traditional medicines and exotic dishes. The illegal wildlife trade in the Balum Temungo area has reached alarming levels with devastating effects. In 2009, WWF's patrol unit stumbled upon a snare. Peninsula Malaysia's Department of Wildlife and National Parks was called in to rescue one of Malaysia's most endangered species, the Malayan tiger. When an animal is trapped in a snare, any struggle to escape will only tighten the noose. An animal can suffer for days before dying from its wounds or from lack of water. I think it was about two and a half years old, and it was a male tiger. So it was in its prime, actually. The depth of the wound suggests that this tiger has been ensnared for more than two days. The tiger was rescued, but unfortunately died after a few weeks. WWF's patrol unit discovered the snare just one kilometer off the east-west highway. This is the main access road for poachers into the area. The Balum Tumungo landscape, it's actually a large forested area which is bisected by a highway. And due to the highway's presence there, it gives more access for people to go into, whether it's in Balum or Tumungo site. There's roughly about 80 over access points for poachers in this area. Poaching is the main threat to wildlife in the forest of Balum and Temungo. Ancaman utama memang pemburuan haram lah. Nilai-nilai apa yang ada di dalam hutan kita ni memang amat berharga. Dia yang yang saya nampak ni menjadi cabarannya yang pertama kesedaran. Sebab sekiranya dia orang tak ada kita kata kesedaran dari segi cintakan alam, sayangkan hidupan dia, saya tak rasa dia orang boleh buat aktiviti pengkuasaan tu dengan kita kata apa dengan dengan bersungguh-sungguh ke dengan bersemangat kan. Jadi yang utamanya pada saya kesedaran. There is a lack of awareness that the Balum Temango landscape is an important area for wildlife for the whole country. Balum Temango represents a, a site that is rich with biodiversity. You have everything that is the recipe that makes Malaysia a biodiversity hub. The Balum Temungo landscape actually 